Okay, in this video, I'm going to actually splice a wire, the black fiber. So let's pick it out here. There it is. I'll shine my light on it. I like to wear this headlamp, but the camera is taking that place right now. I actually got the camera rigged up to the headband that normally holds the headlamp. So there's the second fiber. And I've already wiped all the fibers down with alcohol. And I will again. But for right now, these these cutters are very nice. Jonard. JIC 375. Previously I've always used cutters that require to be held at a 45 degree angle made by Miller. These ones I can actually take the whole length of fiber I need strip it all off in one go. Like that, see. The very thin buffer, buffer tube around this I'm going to take off my light there. You can see the bare fiber there with scraps of... So here, a little alcohol. Clean it off till it squeaks. And you're sure that every bit of dirt is off it. I should explain, this is my first fiber job, so... If you have any questions about why I'm not so good at this. Okay, uh, about to the 16 is what works nicely for this splicer I found. So then I close this little magnetic snap. And that holds the fiber very nicely in place. See there's different channels for different sizes. And you can see the fiber goes all the way over to the other side to the little roller right there. Right there this piece will snap down, pull the piece of fiber into the discard tray. I've already pressed the button down here to wind up the cleaver. And now all I do is this. See it's snapped down, pulls the fiber through. You can see the fiber is cut right there. Okay, so at this point I take it out and I like to work this way. I've, I leave the arms up inside the splicer so that you can see there's a nice groove there. You can see the fiber just goes halfway between the blue and the, and the uh, electrodes. So now I put this down. I'm going to take a quick look at that with the headlamp to make sure it's, it's all pretty lined up. Because you can put this in wrong looks fairly good to me. So now I'll put the cover down and because this this arm is up still it, it stops some dust from getting in but it won't actually wake the the beast up yet. Okay. Here's my second fiber. See it? And take the strippers again. I'm just eyeballing this in. It doesn't matter if I strip off slightly too much. Generally run over it twice. I haven't broken a fiber yet. It's just telling me it's turning itself off. And that's fine, because that way you guys can see how it starts up from scratch. I spent a little bit of time setting up this camera, so it timed out its sleep cycle. So here we go again. The fiber, nice and shiny at the tip. You can see the fiber is basically the same size as the buffer tube. Very small buffer tube. So here I go. Oh, what I need to do is push this in, which loads puts everything back in place to do another cut. 
I bring that back to the 16 and you can see the fiber is really just on the edge of being acceptable there. It's just on the edge of the roller. So I'm going to give myself a little more so for sure it will be caught by the roller. There you have it. And push down again. It's cut off nice and neatly. Hold it with one hand. Undo the magnetic latch. There it is. So this one, uh, at this point, I noticed that I have forgotten to put on the sleeve. You're supposed to put these sleeves on before you do the cleaving. That way any dirt that's in here doesn't get onto the tip of your fiber. Um, however, as you can see, I didn't do that. Um, I'm going to try it like this and see if it works. Oops, that fiber looks just a little iffy on the end. Well, maybe for the sake of being persnickety, I'll redo this one. I load this. Have to strip off a bit extra so that the excess fiber gets caught by the disposal system. Clean it all off. Nice and squeaky clean. As you can see, the two fibers are there in position. Everything's set to go. You can see camera, camera. Actually, probably the cameras are down there and those are lights. Okay, so here we go. When I close these drawers, the thing normally will come up if it's just asleep. take a little while to come on this time because it's powering up for the first time. Ready. That wasn't too bad. So it's all set up. 60 millimeter splices. That's the heater mode. And it's in automatic mode. And all you need to do is press the set button. It's really very simplistic. It's very fast. Pretty self-explanatory what you're looking at there. And I'm not sure how it measurement estimates the loss to be zero decibels. Um, I, I guess the testing I'm going to be doing will will bear that out or not. So. Don't bother to turn it off, because we'll need it on for the heating. It just goes into a sleep mode. Um, I'll hold the fiber. You see the two sides kind of pull away like that? It calls that a proof test, and it stresses the fiber just a little bit in a very precise fashion to make sure that it really did take, or fuse, or whatever you like to call it. So here I have the 
the fiber. I pull it out, I slide the sleeve along it. I slip it into there. And I close this cover. Pick up my light again. I gently put that in there. And by moving this back and forth, you can see where the splice is inside to make sure you've got it centered. And you let it down again and press the heat button.